Good morning, Ms. Garrett. Good morning. How are you? Well, see, I got to tell you, I came in because I'm a little worried about what I've been hearing about. Well, okay? you don't need to be worried. You don't need to be worried. Let me, let me tell you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, I heard the colonel. I heard somebody or a colonel or a manager or somebody talk about how if they had built this dam today, instead they wouldn't be building it the same way because it's in bad shape. And I'm really worried because I have a little boy who's in a wheelchair. Well, that's, that's got to be tough. It's tough. Yeah. But what if that dam goes and all of a sudden I have to get him out of the there? The dam's not going to go, and that's what Colonel Marsh was trying to tell you. The chances of that dam failing are like one in a billion. It's one, nothing. One in a billion? Right. But he's, how am I going to get – how do I know this? I mean, have, you I worked, mean, have you worked with it, Harry Schultz at the emergency management people? Yes. Well, they're the I, ones that will take care of you, even though you know, to worry about stuff like that. I'm, I'm, look. We can I, tell you about the dam if you care. I want to know what I'm going to do about how, what am I going to do, how do I know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing with this dam? See, I don't think you're telling them everything. I really don't. I think you're Why do you think we're not telling them everything? Because you, there's some things you just can't tell them. I know that. That's, 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 do, that's do, nonsense. Do you know We work I, with them real closely. If you'd calm down, I could explain a little bit about Do you know the, what it's like? to have children sleeping in life jackets, because that's what I'm doing right now. My baby. Your children don't need to sleep in life jackets. The, they will, the dam isn't safe. I know it the, isn't. The dam's very safe. You know, I think I live down, I live down there, and I want to know, maybe you should start buying some of our homes. That's We're not going to do that. We have a policy not to do that. So the fact that my baby's in a wheelchair and you aren't telling everybody anything, that, I'm, that's not, I'm not supposed to be worried Look, about. I'm sorry your baby's in a wheelchair, but that's got nothing to do with how safe the dam is. And, and you work with, Amer with Harry's group, they'll tell you what you need to do. Now, if you really want to know about the dam, we can sit down and talk with you. We can talk in language you probably would understand. Okay. So that's it then, right? Is that it? Yeah, the dam's safe. Okay, fine. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Sherrod. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Keith Fulton. How are you? Well, I am a little worried because I've heard about this dam. Some colonel or some major, yeah. someone or somebody, some expert said that if they had built this dam today, yeah. they would be built it the way it is. That's how bad this dam is right now. Right. Yeah. And I'm really worried because, see, my son is in a wheelchair. And if anything were to happen to that dam, how would I get my baby out? Now, I have been working with everyone I'm supposed to, but how do I know that what you're saying is good and what it's right? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very sorry about your son's condition. What's his name? His name is Jim. Jim. Yes. How old is Jim? Jim is 12. 12 years old. Yes. I can talk to you about two aspects of this. One is the... Uh, the emergency planning part. Have you worked at all with Harry Schultz? Yes, I've worked with him. Okay, okay? Good. That's not what I'm worried about. Okay, okay. I want to know if you're telling them everything you're supposed to because you know why? I heard somebody else say that everything was fine, that the dam was fine, but then I find out that it could go. Well, I'm getting different messages here. Well, the, the dam has some leakage, and what we're doing is fixing that leakage as fast as possible. And, and I, I apologize that we haven't shared some of the information with you about what we're doing. We'd be glad to take you out there and, and explain to you what we're doing well, and how, how quickly. This is how bad it is for me. Yeah. My children are sleeping in, in life jackets. Do you know what it's like to your have children? Oh. Yes. You have, your children you, are life jackets. Do you know what it's like yeah. to have children sleeping in life jackets? I can't imagine. No. Well, that's right, because I feel like this, you're not telling everything like it isn't safe. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I'm sorry about that. I mean, we need to explain to you the condition of the dam and, and that, that it's extremely unlikely that anything would happen. And, and if, if that would happen, we have plans in place. That's why we're working with Harry. But maybe we could tell you about how we monitor the dam or take you out I there. Want to, I want to see it then. I want to see it right now. Can we well, go? Yes, we can. But, I'd be glad to well, take you there. Before we go on, though, I know that this is, I feel like you should do something. Maybe you could, you've known about it, you've been managing it. We'd like for some of, maybe you could buy some of our homes or something like that. Because that's, we can't sell them. I mean, if you were to buy them, that would help us a lot. 
Uh, we have a policy not to do that. That's the way it is. I, okay. I can't say anything else but that, but I'd love to show you about the dam. Okay, we can, then let's we, do it. Okay, let's go. Let's right go. Now. Thank you.